Good morning. We're here in New Orleans at the American Heart Association Epidemiology and NPAM meeting, and we're here talking with Dr. Julia Steinberger about her uh, interesting study on the progression of obesity in children from and cardiovascular risk factors. Julia, maybe you can tell us a few things about your study. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, this is a uh, longitudinal study of cardiovascular risk factors between childhood and adulthood, and the cohort is, has initially been recruited um, at, a, at a young age, at, at age seven, in the 1970s. And we have followed this, co this cohort over the last 30-some uh, years um, and reevaluated them on a yearly basis with some anthropometric measurements. Uh, and again, in young adulthood, uh, the, uh, the last evaluation was a complete uh, cardiometabolic uh, detailed evaluation of them as they, they were adults, so now they are 39 years old. And uh, they came into this study uh, with all the longitudinal data we had had prior and underwent a complete evaluation of cardiovascular risk factors. So this is the design of the study. I should say this is, this is not presented on, in, in tomorrow's uh, uh, talk, but uh, these adults came along with their own children who were at the same age when they had been previous, they had been initially recruited, so we had an opportunity to look at not only the first generation longitudinally, but also uh, at a transgenerational uh, relationship between parents and children. Well, this is really a remarkable study there, as you know, so few uh, longitudinal studies of children progressing through adulthood related to cardiovascular disease risk. Uh, and uh, it's amazing to hear that you've followed them for so long and that you've included the children. Uh, what were the main findings of the study? The main findings, uh, and I will relate to this longitudinal portion uh, at the moment, uh, were um, the progression of uh, weight status, if you will, adiposity between childhood and adulthood uh, in these uh, 383 people that we are presenting currently. and. Um, uh, shockingly, uh, about one third of the children who had been initially normal weight remained normal weight in adulthood, and two thirds of the children who had been initially normal weight uh, became overweight and obese adults. And I think this is uh, this is a very sobering uh, finding, which which probably reflects the uh, the generational uh, change between the I within the same cohort and um, and the unfortunate uh, environment environment that, uh, that these children grew up in and, and became adults as far as uh, promoting obesity. So do I have this correct that two-thirds of the children who started at normal weight wound up overweight or obese as That's adults? That's correct. That's correct. That's remarkable. And the children who started overweight or obese became all overweight and obese adults. Um, so this perhaps uh, uh, is, is it, to, to some extent uh, answers the question of, of some of our ourselves and our colleagues who think that children may outgrow they over, their overweight status as they become adults? Right, because it sounds like, in fact, uh, not just the overweight uh, children are at risk, but also the normal weight children Correct. are at risk. Correct. So this is very sobering. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about what you think the public health implications are of your findings. Uh, so first and foremost is the fact that children who are uh, starting as normal weight children have a high risk of becoming overweight and obese adults. And, and therefore, from the standpoint of longitudinal tracking of children, children's uh, weight status, I believe that it, it uh, makes us think seriously about um, frequent tracking, perhaps annual tracking, of, of weight and height uh, in children, even if they begin as normal weight, in order to prevent adult obesity. The, the additional public health implication is within the relationship between, uh, between overweight and obesity and cardiovascular risk factors. So not only did these children become overweight and obese adults, but they also had a higher level of cardiovascular, adverse cardiovascular risk level. And so even in childhood, as, as we follow these children, uh, we have to be mindful that some of these weight changes will be associated with, with higher uh, risk or adverse risk for early heart disease. So there are long-term implications to that exposure. That's clearly. correct. Well, in the context of the American Heart Association 2020 goals, any further comments you'd like to offer? 
yes, so um, again, just to emphasize the fact that uh, as we are thinking of ideal health, um, clearly these children started at the level of ideal health. They were seven years old and they had absolutely normal uh, weight status, BMIs, and uh, our, our efforts as part of the American Heart Association in trying to maintain this ideal health cannot be overemphasized. Well, I would agree with you. This is a very important finding and, and uh, new information. So we'll all have to take this out to our practice and our research. Thank you. Thank you.